Hi, my name is Jeff Holden. I'm a group leader for one of Rolf Peterson's Moose Watch expeditions here at the end of May 2012. And we're getting ready to do a day hike on a daisy farm. Um, we're going to be on trail for about a mile, then we're going to go off trail towards Forbes Lake uh, outside of Daisy Farm, and we're going to go find us a moose or two. We're leaving the trail. We've walked maybe three quarters of a mile outside of Daisy Farm, a little bit to the west of Daisy Farm, and we're going to go off towards Forbes Lake. Off trail, Forbes Lake is a little lake. It's maybe 20 to 40 acres in size, and we're just going to trash through the, the under story here for probably third to half of a mile and see if we can find some dead moose. I'm, I'm looking a lot at my feet so uh, I can get over things and around things and uh, doing a scan from side to side. And you typically fall down at least one time while you're up here. So Dave Beck just found a bone. Um, and generally what happens is whoever finds a bone yells, bone. Yep. We all converge on it and then we drop packs. Got Sue's got the flag. She puts orange flags up in trees so we know where the center of the search is. And then we spread out, and depending on the, how much promise we think the bone holds, we'll look for anywhere from, say, 10 to 15 minutes to even maybe half an hour or longer. The bone Dave found in this particular instance is old. It's uh, a small juvenile or maybe even a calf moose, which means the wolves, when they catch it, are going to eat everything, including the bones. And because it's old, what might be left is probably buried. So... We'll probably do a 10 minute search around here and usually what we'll do is we'll try to cover the area fairly thoroughly within say 50 yards of where we're standing. And there's a lot of wandering around and if after say 10 minutes we don't find another bone, uh, we kind of throw up our hands and say, oh well, and uh, we move on. If we find another bone or two, that'll keep us going for a little while. Um, so some moose finds can drag out for an hour, hour and a half if you keep finding little teasers. Um, but this particular bone is not a promising start. So, gonna drop the bone and start looking. Well, we have a shed antler from a moose. We shed them every year, and uh, we're gonna document the, the find and also the size of the base. 62 millimeters. Yeah, that's a good size one. So imagine walking through here with this on your head. Or just one of those. Then you'd have a lopsided head. And then we're going to uh, mark it so that if we find it again or somebody finds it again, they'll know that it's already been found. The only time we carry them out is if they're attached to a skull. Yeah. And it's really interesting to be a part of something that people really from around the world are, are looking at. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of a small town person and, uh, and it's kind of a, a big deal for me to be involved in such a, such a big thing. They're the, really the core field effort that we have now in the summertime. Um, so we rely completely on those volunteers to come every year and come back here as many <laughs> times as we can, as they can uh, handle. Because uh, we put all these up to 50 people in the field every season for a week at a time. And so they cover hundreds and hundreds of miles and weeks and weeks of effort that we could never do any other way. And they pay for it themselves. So it's a self-sustaining operation. So it's, it's just perfect for us.